African states have systematically institutionalized failure because no one holds political leaders accountable for failed promises and worsening the living conditions of people. This has to stop. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Owakwe Ikechuku Henry, representing Team Dubai. I'm a 500 level veterinary medical student of the University of Nigeria in Soka, 2013 189402 Rage Number. And I'm here to propose the motion that citizens should be allowed to prosecute elected public office holders who default on their campaign promises. Three reasons why the motion is legitimate and true. Firstly, principally, Campaign promises are ideological contracts because they engage creating political expectations that are targeted towards artificially coercing people into actually voting for these people. So we think where political leaders default on their campaign promises, it is akin to a breach of contract and it deserves to be legally actionable. Secondly, we think basically that campaign promises in and of themselves exacerbate the living, living conditions of people when they are defaulted. This is because campaign promises are engineered around solving basic economic, social, and political problems that currently exist within the states. So when political leaders and people that have been publicly elected into offices fail to utilize the scarce resources to solve these problems, they are living negligently and they are worsening the living conditions of people. We think this level of public neglect is criminal and deserves legal action. Thirdly, it is imperative for us to allow citizens the ability to prosecute people that they've elected to represent them so that we could further stop people from actually continuing this crime and stop the narrative and recalibrate the indexes of people that enshrines the narrative that public office holders can create artificial promises and exploit the vulnerability of people that look up to them. We think it is important for us to recreate this circle and allow public office holders to be accountable to people they are representing. Thank you very much. Hello Nigeria, my name is Valentine Ifani, I'm representing Team Dubai. I'll be opposing the topic that says that citizens should be allowed to prosecute public office holders who default on campaign promises. Four things I'm going to be saying in my speech. Firstly, ladies and gentlemen, there is no yardstick and no line or metric to measure negligence. Neither is there any metric to measure when political greed intersects people's individual trusts for their public office holders. So it is unfair to use something that cannot be measured as a way to hold people in public office office positions legally call people. We think that on that ground it is unfair. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, we think that at some point given the arbitrariness of circumstances surrounding a political office it is unfair to tie people down and tie public office holders down. What do I mean? Simple. We think that before people make campaign promises, they have genuine interests for the state but when they go into offices, circumstances can predispose them not to act on that incentive almost immediately. Would you say that you're going to hold them legally culpable for the circumstances that they faced while in office and that predisposed them not to act, we think it is unfair. Third thing we're going to be talking about is the fact that you create constitutional overreach. When you give people too much power, imagine ladies and gentlemen, or the 160 million people in Nigeria with variation of interests hold one particular person legally culpable just because for of a promise that they made and they did not prove that they were not going to do it. We think on that same ground, it is unfair to give citizens that kind of rights. Ladies and gentlemen, let's live in the real world, in the reality of Africa where several ethnic groups have several interests that intersect with constitutional obligations. We think that when people like Niger Delta, people that push for Biafra, find their governor, even when the governor is right, they find their governor appalling, they would want and at every time to actually clamp down on that political progress even when the governor is good. We think that in the real world it does not work and it's unfair to stifle political offices and it's anti-democracy to do these kind of things. I have never ever been so proud to oppose. Thank you.